Hi, I'm Alex Humphreys, head of JSTOR Labs. This week we're testing out the idea of a smartphone app that lets you take a picture of any page of text and it will return relevant JSTOR research articles. JSTOR is a database um, of scholarly articles. So I can say pretty confidently in a year or two in your studies, you will use JSTOR. Do you do um, schoolwork or anything about your phone? Research or that sort of thing? Why do you not? I guess because a lot of times it's We've got several screens together for the workflow where we can see how it would work. Each one of these is essentially a, a, a product hypothesis. Because we're just trying to communicate the concept at this point. We're not trying to see if we've done it correctly. We'll just show them if you clicked here. You can see the camera. And you can see the photo that you took. You go back and retake it or search based on that text. Some instructions. I'm not a browse. And just go through it. By end of the day tomorrow, Wednesday, we will be building the app. These are four different presentations of search results in JSON. So, what would you think about in these where you're seeing one at a time if you said, more like this, that it might change results behind yeah. the scenes, so the next one you see might be different based on this. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? I think that if you guys can do that, that'd be awesome. We're back here for day three, where it's Wednesday. We now know the, the key screens that we need to build, and we've started to build them. Today is really a day about productivity and really just working really hard to get a working app that look slick so that by tomorrow we can have some phones out here and just let people use them and then use that for feedback. We're getting to the point of knowing exactly what should be on some screens. We actually have a rudimentary app. It's not totally pretty and styled yet, but uh, we've got the basic functionality there. We're on day four, I guess, and we're starting to get down to to brass tacks on some of the implementation details. We've been in churn and wild mode getting the site all up and going. Um, and so she was the first person that we'd spoken to. She was very encouraging. So we basically have the site, it's working, it's designed. It's like, oh, I can do, I might use phone for research. Take photo, right? Use photo. Why does it not work for me? So here are my results. Like, like some of the other ones, I'm going to dive in. And that's actually perfect, so I'm going to save that to my list. Ah, right. I so email my list. Ta-da! Yay! I'm going to start over again. Tell me first of all what, what this does. Okay, you can either take a picture of whatever you're looking for, or you can just type it in here. Oh my god, that is so many results. I'm so used to doing this on an iPhone, mm -hmm. where you can see all of the articles that come up, sort of like a big view. So oh, you can just go by one out. and sort of, yeah, zoom out. How new is that? It didn't exist until today. Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, wow. I built it this week. Oh, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why. That's you, cool. You have to be forgiving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's cool.